Hey Fly Tires, Darren here. Welcome back to another fly tying tutorial. Today we're going to be tying another simple fly. This one's called the Cluster Maggot or um, Maggot Cluster. But it's basically a series of ultra chenille off, tied off of the hook and then uh, singed just like you would with a San Juan worm except we're using white ultra chenille for this pattern. It's a pretty simple straightforward uh, fly to tie. I'll show you how to do this easily and quickly and we've also added a little bit of accent on there. Don't forget to leave a comment below to get entered into the next draw that we'll be having and let's have a look at the material list and get started. Let's get a fresh hook in the vise. We're going to be using a barbless fire hole 419 in size 12 today. And this is a dry fly hook, uh, but it's got a two extra wide gap. And it's a little bit heavier wire than most dry flies. And I, but I don't want this to sink too quickly. And hence, I'm not using a nymph hook on this. We're going to be using a uh, light yellow or buttercup Danville uh, 6 aught and this is a 70D thread so if you're using different manufacturers you might want to go down to an 8 aught we'll just wrap that thread on just to put a base layer onto the hook shank and we're going to grab a length of ultra chenille and I'm using a piece of white if you have white or just a, an off-white cream that'll work really well for this. I'm going to take about 10 inches of chenille and I'm just going to fold it in half or you can take two pieces if you want. We're just going to use one and fold it in half and just meet the tips. And then we're going to take our thread forward here just up not quite to the eye and then we're going to tie those down and uh, secure those to the top of the hook shank. And then we're going to just set those off to the back for a minute. We're going to add a little bit of accent to this fly pattern. We're going to use a little bit of uh, ice dub. And this is actually a mix of UV pearl and UV or UV pearl and UV. Uh, so you can kind of see the purple and the green uh, fibers in there. So we'll just add a couple wraps. We don't want too much in here, just enough to give it a little bit of an accent. So next we're going to take both of those lengths of ultra chenille. We're just going to fold it over and make a loop off the back of the hook. And we're going to secure that with a few wraps of thread. Then we're going to fold that chenille back. Then we're going to take a little bit more of the ice dub blend. So this is the pearl and the UV mix. And we're just going to dub another little section. And we just want to do about a, a quarter to a third of the hook shank. Now we're going to create another loop and this one can be a touch longer than their first one. And we'll just secure that down with several wraps of thread. And then again, we'll pull back the chenille. And we're going to add a little bit more of the dubbing just to put in that last loop that we're going to create. So again, we just wrap the dubbing onto the hook shank. Make sure it's all pulled away from the eye. And then we'll create our last loop and tie that off there. If you want to add more loops than these three, by all means, go ahead. You could even leave the uh, tag ends on the front and that'll give you an extra two worms. We're going to trim those off flush and then tie the eye off here. 
we'll just neaten up the head of this fly and we're going to whip finish it before we go on and finish the rest of the fly here. So if you wanted to use a different color of dubbing, you could also do that. Um, consider using uh, something a little brighter to be somewhat attractive. Uh, but the white is, uh, or the pearl in the UV is kind of my go-to for this. So we're going to come in here with our scissors and snip out all of the loops. So we should have six loops in total. And after we snip them, that will give us 12 maggots coming off of our hook shank. So now we want to carefully kind of go through and singe the ends of all these. This might take a little bit of time and you have to do a little bit of maneuvering. But you just want to kind of take that flame and kiss it. You don't want to, or you want to try to avoid putting the flame right onto the chenille because it can catch fire here. And if it does that, you'll just use your thumb and forefinger just to kind of put the fire out quickly before your whole fly goes up in flames. But you can kind of see you get that little dark spot right at the end and it sort of yellows up your fly pattern just a little bit. So we'll just continue doing the rest of these. And once you're done with that, then your flies get, oh, there you go. We've shortened one by accident and that can happen. If it's a little bit easier, you can also turn the fly upside down just to get at those few finicky little uh, ultra chenille maggots. So there you go. That's the cluster maggot or the maggot cluster. You can give that a little brush to kind of pull out a little bit of that ice dubbing and help accent it through the body. There you go. Hey fly tires, thanks for stopping by and checking out my fly tying videos. If you enjoyed the video and want to show your support, hit the thumbs up and share it to your social networks. I hope you consider subscribing to the channel and if you do, be sure to hit the bell icon to get notifications on my latest fly patterns, tips, and reviews. If you have a question or comment, leave a message below. You'll also be entered into the next draw for some of the flies I tie and a few stickers. Until next time, this is Darren saying, keep a hook in your vice. Cheers.